Okay, here we are for X's and O's with Leroy Butler. And we're going to take a play from the uh, Carolina Packers game on Sunday. And this was kind of an isolation play, kind of surprising. Um, the Carolina Panthers wanted to get Steve Smith locked up on Charles Woodson man-to-man, Charles -man, which, you know, is a little bit shocking, but they like that matchup. Steve Smith's a great receiver, and mm -hmm. Woodson's not the fastest guy, you know, he was. He's the Packers' best player. Yeah. In the secondary. But in certain positions, he's better than he is. So, that's what we're going to explain. here's the I'll set up the formation and you can uh, go from there. We've got Steve Smith here, we got Brandon LaFell here, and we got two tight ends lined up, stacked up here, one running back. Packers are in their base defense, three defensive linemen, mm -hmm. and they got Morgan Burnett up and Nick Collins back. Yeah, see, what the whole concept of this play for Carolina was to make sure you isolate if this is Woodson on 89, they like that matchup for whatever reason. Now, I seem to think that this is not what the Packers want to do, and I want everybody to look at this. This is a true base 3-4 defense. You got three down linemen, four linebackers. The Packers are at their best when Woodson is here mm -hmm. and not at cornerback. So what happened was the receiver comes in motion here. Now your safeties rotate, okay? And you now, why why did they rotate? Well, because the strength went from the left to the right. Okay. So now you got two tight ends backside. You got three guys to this side, and you got to protect this side of the field. And plus, you don't mind locking up Woodson, you know, if he's a shutdown corner, right? The man on a wide receiver. There. Right. So, in other words, Collins rotates, and then you've got. Matthews, Shields, and Collins to cover right. these two guys. Well, right. also this guy too, right? Yeah, this wide receiver will come over and he'll just run off. But the play is for here, and they ran what we call a, a two route. Let me see, a two. And he comes up and ran like a two, which it's is a, a hard slant. slant and, right? and it's hard to cover that when, you know, 42 is here now. Right. And 36 is, you know, over here. So you can see it's like a voided zone because once these linebackers play action, you don't get any help from these right, guys. Right, right. And this is one point you made that I didn't see was that um, in this play, you know, doesn't Bishop bites hard on this right. play action fake. Right. And if he doesn't, he'd probably come out here and help take off right. away the slant. But he has to attack that line of scrimmage because he doesn't really necessarily know. Because this is a running formation right. when you get two tight ends together. And this is what we call Tiger personnel. So to the defense, at any time, they can get three verticals or four verticals. So right. you got to make sure you're balanced. Right. So, you know, to me, the whole reason I, we picked this is that um, – it's interesting to see that someone yeah. would even consider isolating yes. Woodson. You know, we know that he's probably not as good outside as he is in here. Yeah. And also, it, it raises a question: Would it be better to actually get him, you know, in the middle of the field as a safety? That's we'll a great see. point. That's he's going to be a Hall of Famer regardless. But I think he could do so much damage, especially covering Matt Forte if he's inside instead of outside. Right. Okay. And we're going to look at a play with Matt Forte uh, up next. Okay, so we're going to talk about Matt Forte and yeah. what a huge part of the um, Bears offense is. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a play during a string of, uh, during a two-minute drill, where they, they threw the ball in four times for 50 yards, yes. and 45 of those yards were after the catch. I mean, the guy is really good out of the backfield. So basically what we have is an empty backfield, Three, four wide receivers and Forte split out here in the slot. Mm -hmm. And you'd call this an all go, which means right. all the receivers go yeah. downfield. So, and basically, uh, what Jay Cutler does here, Tom, is look for matchups. Immediately, what you see is you're looking for your matchups. And these are normal matchups outside. The ones you look for matchups are in here mm -hmm. Hester and Forte. Now, what you really kind of interesting by the Saints. They had Jenkins all the way in here. That's their safety. Right? And that's their, their safety. safety. And as you can see this, he rotates out of there and runs out of there. Right so before you, the snap. Right before the snap. So now he's gone. Okay? He's gone. And Cutler sees yeah. this, right? And Cutler sees it. Now this linebacker here walks out, and now he's man-to-man -man, um, with Forte. Right. This linebacker vacates the middle and comes to the quarterback, as, as you have drawn up. So now, in a perfect world, the more your eraser, 
This is how it's going to look. That guy's gone. These the, people the are gone. Blessed, actually. Yep. And the safety's way back there. And the safety's Hester. way back there. Yeah. And now this linebacker here, he comes over here. And now Forte comes off, goes out, and pivots back in. Big play right there. Yeah. And what, what you like about this for the Bears is mm -hmm. isolation. Scott Shanley, the linebacker against Matt Forte, yeah. where you take that 99 and a half times out right. of 100? Probably 100. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. just a great play. He, he Cutler reads that the safety right. um, vacated. And you, would, and you would think, Tom, with this particular uh, defense, you would always keep a guy in the middle. The Packers did that against the Bears. They dropped out B.J. Raji. He comes in, you know, kind of what we call chicken fighting. They'll <laughs> pop out right there. There's your interception. Touchdown. Yeah, you got to wonder, you know, will the Packers try that again? Or yeah. will the B Bears be afraid to do that? Right. Because they know, or, or at least Cutler's got to be uh, well, conscious of it. And Cutler's going to say, hey, look, I was out of the game. It didn't happen against yeah, me. Right. So who cares? <laughs> you had that other kid in there. <laughs> but for the most part, Forte, he's going to get 13 targets pass he's gonna get maybe 15 to 18 carries if he gets up to 35 t total touches yeah. they have a good chance of winning he's the most valuable player on their entire offense probably second or first on the entire organization he's playing for a contract man he wait well, yeah. the Bears don't pay anybody okay yeah. I'm surprised that some they pay some of the defensive guys yeah but he should be just like Chris Johnson but he did the good thing and not hold out right he should be yeah, well and he's paid. having a monster year at 10 catches in that yeah. game unbelievable and, and I think that's going to be a very key part to this game for yeah. the Packers so yeah. thanks for joining us for X's and O's and we'll be back after the Bears game next week don't forget to catch us and you can send me an email at lbf36.org or a question for me and Tom for next week Cindixmarket.com, WJ Kuhn Automotive Center. And we'll see you next week.